Well, here I am in Heinz Park Superbox, my old signal box where I used to work 17 years ago. And this is the viewpoint that I would have seen, looking obviously across the crossing towards the, and the barriers. And obviously, where I'm standing now, there was a, an original control set of buttons for the gates. Um, but this is where I used to work. And right over here, in the far corner, was the old desk, which is now part of the staircase that obviously they've built. And this was the working floor of the box. And over in the far left-hand side was where the toilet was. And as you can see, what they've done, they've taken out the staircase, or they've taken out where the levers used to be and built the staircase in here. But originally, um, this is where the, the lever frame used to be, where the staircase begins. This is where the lever frame used to be. And um, what they've done up here, the Heinz Park Association, they've put some pictures on the wall here, and as you can see, that's what it used to look like. And that's virtually how I remember it when I was up here in 96. And this really does bring back some memories for me, being up here. Many 12 hours up here on the Sunday. <laughs> it just seems like I'm waiting for a bell or a buzzer to ring. Tell me that there's a train coming and I've got to get up and start doing something. <laughs> so this is obviously looking towards Hackney Downs from the box itself. So that direction is looking towards Walthamstow Central and towards London. And there we can see where the original landing was that went down the steps to the ground. It's obviously been closed off now. And let's have a look. This is the original, look at this, the original door, look at this. This is the door that I remember. Yeah. 
I mean, everybody burnt the coal. We've still got coal fire. Yeah, so am I. But it was a major, it was a major yeah. thing. And coal was the last item to be rationed. It didn't go off ration until 1958. That's the other one. goes. <laughs> Good spot here, yeah. you can watch people. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, why doesn't that work? I imagine it as it used to be. 
the yeah, the same boat. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right, because they, they were um, oh, off, so so yeah, they clarified the No, hey, look at this side. This is a photo of what the station and they used to, like, used to look like. Over in the corner where the tripod is. Yeah, yeah. Station, um, the station used to crank it one way on the and had a series of blues and whites. used to go underneath the box and obviously underneath the track. And you'd wind it one way and the goats would obviously. If you found it the wrong way, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, the, one of the things I remember is what I've been doing. They should be some cost of the floor. So I'm going to have to cut the pump and cut it. Wow. Well, that's what it can build. Because it's yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah, 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 yeah. on the floor. It was so cold when it was on. I'm not just the way it's going. All you have to do is just put some. Right here you go. I'm sure you remember you had a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. And then there was a big loop. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's right. 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 If you're in Norfolk, that's how. Uh, when I was up there, I was in the area of the city. So it wasn't a toilet, it was a railway. Very cosy, it was very cosy up there. And then once you go up here, you've got the top out of the air. It's quite cosy, it's your home remote. Yeah. One of the things about the spots that we're going for is because of this way it's situated over the cross, you've got a good bird's eye view of the approaching trains from Chingford and also the trains coming up the other road from Hackney. And you can see the whole area comes past from regards to the road crossing as well as the road crossing itself, which is great. And these boxes were designed in mind for that, but it's good sighting for the crossing people to see everything basically. So you're perched up here and this is the road you look at the main basically and watch what's going on. Um, I've had cars go across there while I'm on duty and the barriers are coming down and basically <laughs> floor across the crossing. Um, one night, not on my ship, there was a colleague during the 1980s told me uh, on one Saturday night there was a police chase with a Rolls Royce car and the Rolls Royce was a selling car which was being received by the local police from around there. The barriers were down for a train about two in the morning, they set a train down to the street for the depot. The Rolls Royce took out the barriers and the crossing went straight across. Luckily there was no train, but if, had there been a train coming at that time then both cars would have in. But the uh, Rolls Royce came with quite the worst up that barrier. I'm used to working. I do indeed, sir. Yes, yeah, so I was here in '96. Right. I was here for about three years. Yeah. And when I was up here operationally, this was a quite a busy box. And it did look like nothing to see today before us. Obviously, it's an empty shell. But it was very, very cozy. Uh, there was carpet on the floor, made it at home from home. <laughs> um, but it was very, very drafty in the wintertime, hence the carpet. Um, so the original frame, as you can see in the picture here, is kind of put up in the wall here. This is the original frame that I remember. Yeah. And so that, was here, that was here, right here. Yeah. Actually, where it stands, literally yeah. right there. Um, there was a large hole in the floor that was being covered up, but there was a hole um, designed for that. Um, part of our pride was signaling staff in this spot, because it was an old box, and most of us were interested in history. We used to do our best to look after it, so we used to do the tradition of polishing the leaves up on the, on the weekend when you that bit of time quiet, clean up and make it look nice. Um, I'm being a rally enthusiast myself, I love working on things, it was just the time industry that was involved in working on the ground. Um, it's, it's really good to see the Times Park Preservation for them on the ground, so you observe it as well, that's excellent. And I hope something good happens up here in terms of the facilities and what you can do up here and what you can do at the actual box. Um, it's a nice old structure and so pleased to be saved. But, um, one of the things that I'm really pleased to see is the interior of the roof. That's the original, apart from the graffiti up there. These beams that go across here, that's the original. Yeah. Um, in the days of steam, you wouldn't have had electric lights, you would have had gas lamps obviously up there. Um, they were obviously running along the ceiling zone. But this was a quite a modern box in 1925. It was one of the recently built in the era of the wonderful Beastie Railway. Um, originally there was a small box on the platform down there, it first opened originally because there was a little push yard down there. That's a very hard on local traffic. Um, but I, I worked here and I also did a stint up at Chinkley Box, which is the end of the line for about a couple of weeks down there. That sadly was gone, and that, so that was a bigger box than this, it was huge. Um, that was again a lever frame box, a push button box, but this purely was a lever frame box. Apart from the buttons that operated the crossing over in the corner, it was purely a lever frame box. You had four little levers, but they were very important levers. So the two levers obviously were concerning the signatures on the crossing and also the really slotting in the front mechanism for the crossing itself. So basically it was a fail safe system. Mm. The way it worked was when a train came on the up, there was a little um, treadle that was just outside um, cheap for the signal box on the track. So when the, the train's wheels went past it, they could send an electrical circuit to a ring up here down the back of the box. Ring a bell up somewhere up there in the panel and let me know there's a train. Do then go to where the gentleman is in the corner of my tripod is, push the button, start the sequence with barriers to come down, and walk this barrier off, and keep it over the spot in the go across. Barriers then come down, once the barriers were down, then I went over to the frame, which is here, and I believe it's this lever here, so pulled it out, and then that obviously protects the signal, um, the button that it came off, so you basically pull it off, and then enable the train to go across the crossing safely into the route to the home, right to the 
Um, that was basically, uh, I was saying before, there's no way a train would come across this crossing without putting that lever and making sure everything was put into locks. I.e. the barriers stay up in the air, that train would not come across the crossing. Yes, they were. Um, <laughs> when the spots were converted to barrier operation in about the 1980s, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, they were four gates that took up across the road. Um, originally, there was a large pedestal with what's like a ship's wheel, um, and basically you turned it and you built up the kinetic energy and a series of wires and pulleys underneath the box and ran up to the gates and underneath the track. And basically, you closed all four gates, and that's how it worked. Yeah. Um, a colleague of mine down on the Hartford Loop many years ago, he had spelled for a level crossing box, decided one side he was very poor to start winding the wheel on the wheel that board, and he forgot about where he was winding it. He went and let it go, and it gets all ping at the top. <laughs> <laughs> and in nearly those days, we've got what's called the um, four and one, just a clinical uh, procedure. So you've got a full mind over that. Yes, they were, they were gates originally. Obviously now we've got the um, automatic half barrel four barrels as you can see there. But when I was up here, these barrels are already here. But um, it was a very interesting box to work. Um, all of my colleagues loved working with it. And we all enjoyed it as thoroughly as sitting there. Originally, apart from Highest Park, the yeah, the 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 this is the Sid Salt. There's a main signal in the line that's high enough before it's resignaled. So the chief will the box. And after that, you have the original box to the box, then all the different street box. And all went over to the street box. Many other boxes in the area, such as Enfield Town, the the as well. Lead. It's a mass um, signalling um, region of the town. Right. So, no, that's another lead. So, the camera really close to the box. Yeah. 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 Let's go down again and have a look at this. If anybody up here is interested in history, there is a wonderful book out by Middleton Press called um, It's Liverpool Street to Cheekford. It's, it's a good photographic reference by it. It's made by Middleton Press. And it really is an excellent photographic history. And it's got these sort of pictures and much more of them. Um, I think this one is from the same book, I think. It is, I don't know. It's the riders and those pieces. It's interesting history that this line particularly is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit um, I was here about three and a half, four years. Jazz, I was yes. up here in 1996. Um, when I was up here, I was quite a busy working box. It was quite a lot of very much active. Um, it was quite a lot of active activity during that. There was lots of going on. Obviously, we tried coming in and out of the chest. We get some bits of water from off the street. So you're always on your feet. Put it on the we ran trains down the road. We ran trains down the 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 yeah, there's a, there was a box, I think it was some miles away, it was a box now, Marcus was taken, and it's now You're welcome. Do you want me sick or are you okay? I'm here until probably about four o'clock this afternoon. Yes, that's right. Yeah.
Yeah, because that came from the, the original, when they brought first brought the Dictionary of Jazz from America, they first came out of the They Yeah. Turn left, yeah. round the back of the box, and the outside side gate. 
Oh, straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. <coughs> this was never. Well, he said that little white box. No, no, I didn't. Well, I Yeah, that's the signal box. Yeah, yeah. 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 